Okay, here is another video that shows you how to make zip files. As you can see, I'm in the Google Drive file stream, Teams Drive, Engineering, CSWA Tutorials, and under Readman. Now, when you see here, see these three parts with the tilde and the dollar sign? Don't zip those. As you can tell, the size is really small. They're working copies. They are there because you can see in this quick assembly I made, that they are the parts that are the working copies. If you go to window, you can see the actual copies too. If you want to do that, that's a quick little shortcut to see what all parts you have open. But we're going to go back to Explorer and make sure you're under where your parts are. You're going to click on the first one. I like to hit and hold control, right click, and then you go to the classic send to compressed zip folder. So you can name it whatever you want, make sure it means something to you, and then you are good to go after that. Then the parts, if you double click on it, they're going to show up in that. And then when you go to Edmodo and you upload, upload the zip file. Now the reason I want you to do that, and I'm going to pick on Brandon because he's got the most stuff in here. But if you go to, for instance, this picture holder, and I double click on it and I try to open it, what happens is it says, I can tell the parts are there, but it's looking for the file and it's looking at under his Google Drive, which if I browse, I'm not going to find it. If I hit suppress on that, just that component, it's going to think about it. It's going to look for the next part. And then I'm going to hit suppress too. And all of a sudden it shows that none of the parts are there even though I know he had it and did it, but that's how that works, so don't let that happen. Um, but I haven't had a chance to show you guys that, so thanks for watching this. Um, but do the zip files, save everything to the drive, and it should work out well.